Hello everyone. Starting from today, I'm going to record something called Five Minutes to Go summary, where I'm going to summarize the content of each of the lecture. Try my best to fit them into five minutes video. That will be easier for you to review. Okay, this is what we have introduced in the lecture. A subtitle for this course: C for Coffee which stands for coding, free, and fun, um, in which we will try our best to make um, this lecture as straightforward as possible for you and make it easier. Programming for most of the people uh, would be something like programmers sitting around the computers, typing with keyboards for coding, um, I had that similar understanding 20 years ago, but now I realize the programming is everywhere. There are programmers everywhere because the key about programming is to understand the logic of programming rather than just getting the skills. It's help a lot if you can relate or connect those logic to your daily life uh, in a more straightforward way it help a lot with your programming. These are something called punch cards. It's really old fashioned. It's the way like 100 years ago, the programmers used for programming. Um, it looks like this. There are several columns there. You can punch holes on that car for programming uh, like this. So after that, those cards will be sent to the machine to execute. So this is a punch card programming. To understand the punch card programming, it's help a lot if you think of those uh, music box, uh, which you're sending those holes into this little machine. Uh, it will be executed line by line to play the music uh, like this. There are some holes or needles there which can translate or interpret those holes into real instruction for the machine to play music. Okay, rather than saying it, let's just play with it. This is an example. Um, you can play by it yourself. We have a punch card here and each of the holes is connected to uh, one of the buttons of the calculator. In this case, you punch a hole there, which are connected to the button of line. The calculator will give you nine. This is another case we are punching a hole for the multiplication. The ca uh, calculator will execute that command. So, I will give you a real example here. Um, I will give you a few seconds. Can you figure it out what the result? Uh, of this punch car. Okay, you probably already know the result, but let me demonstrate how this punch car has been executed. So this is first line, it's corresponding to the button one, and so in that case the calculator will display one. Let me get to the next line. It's um, plus, then we have one plus, and again we have another one that are coming in. So right now the calculator will have one plus one. Right now we are approaching the last line of the punch card. It's for the button equal. So once the button equal has been pressed, you will have the answer too. So this, this is what's going now for the punch card example. Okay, this is another example. You can pause the video to figure out what the answer is. If you are getting answer 10, congratulations! You are now a real programmer. Like I, I was saying, programming is everywhere. This is the programming. Right now, uh, you are a programmer. It's a decent job.